Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to put some clothes on her. Okay, and I'm going to use some Marvelous Designer action. So what I need to do first off is I need to take this body and figure out how tall it is. Now there's something in here in the Z plugin. If you're looking around at Scale Master, you can figure out some stuff. But I still find it's a little bit wacky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this model. And what division am I in? If I double click, I'm at... 200,000 polys. I, that should be able to handle that. It's nice and smooth. The body, oh, crap. The body is nice and smooth. And um, I can I can see a little bit of faceting, but not too much. So it should be fine for taking it over to Marvelous Designer. If I have low, too much low poly action, I'll see it kind of look funny. And I don't feel like doing the Decimation Master. So I'm going to export it. And let's go and call this body. See, I've got a lot of bodies in here. I'm going to put it to body 20. Okay, great. And it's exported. And then I'm just going to double check it over in Maya. So I'm going to take file and I'm going to hit import. And uh, there's body 20. Always remember if you're importing an OBJ to go down and check to make sure it's on single objects. Sometimes it'll break up your model. So anyway, import. And there it is. Okay, great. And let's just go and put this on two screens. And we're just going to find out how tall she is. Lots of polys. Lots and lots of polys. Okay, I'm going to go over here to Create, Measure Tools, Distance Tool. And if I hold down X and I pop one there, and I pop another one up here, great. And I'm just going to go in and select that little locator. There's a little locator up top here. And this is telling me the distance is measured in centimeters, 170 centimeters. Okay, I probably should do some real changes on this one here. If I hold down V... I can get right to the very top, and she's at 170. Okay, cool. And if I convert that, it's, uh, what is it, like 5, 8, or 9, or something like that. Okay, so this is real-world scale. And that should be fine, then, to use a Marvelous Designer. Okay, um, let's go to the Marvelous Designer now. And so if I go and I open this... Um, do I have the hotkey set up? So I already went in here, and I've been playing around, and what did I do? In... Display, no preferences, like my Gizmo and World, and, uh, oh crap, now I've forgotten where the hell this thing is. I always forget. Viewport, la la la. It tells you some hotkeys right here, but for moving around, rendering style, 3D garment, format, right at the beginning, um, user settings, right at the beginning it gives you an option to do this. View controls, okay, there it is, Maya. Okay, you have different types of view viewer controls. This just makes your life a bit easier if you're playing with Maya. You know your hotkeys right away. Alt, left, middle, right, for zooming. Left and middle don't work for zooming like they do in Maya, but whatever, I'm okay with that. I'm not doing a lot of camera moves and moving around. I'm just going to go File. I'm going to Import, uh, Import OBJ. You can bring in FBX files, you can bring in things that have been cached out. Okay, great. Open, load as an avatar, centimeters. Okay, and it thinks about it. This is a heavier polygon. La 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 la. And, magically, we're in. Um, I played around with this thing a little bit. Isn't really completely necessary, so I just go and get rid of it. I hit close, and it closed. So there's my model, and next thing I want to do is uh, I want to start putting some clothes on. And so there's this thing here moves around your clothes. You can find tutorials all over the place about how to do all this stuff. I'm going to keep this really simple. Uh, cancel. I was, I was thinking I was in polygon mode. Let's go and do something like this. I'm going to eyeball it into place. And it thinks a little bit. I keep noticing these strange things on my computer and another computer I'm using, and it burps. It stops and it thinks. Don't panic. Don't do anything crazy. There it is. So it's made a sheet of material. And you can come in here and adjust that. There's this little tool right here that moves this around if I want to. You can scale it here. You can go in and rotate it with this one. Okay, great. And... If I go to this little one right beside it, I can pick out segments, deselect, then I can pull this out to say here, take this one and pull it out to here. <clears throat> Great. Then I want to take this thing, select it, this sheet, and select it, and I'll right click and I'll hit copy, right click, hit pasteola, 
and we'll paste it in the same spot. Great. And I've got my move tools showing up here. And again, in the preferences gizmo, I put it on world, it's easier to move around, I find. Okay, and I can click on this and move this duplicate down here. Is there any clicks, tricks in here I can do? Flip horizontally. If I do that, flips it around. Okay, good. Remember that there is a front and a back. Okay, so you want to make sure the darker side is inside. And I can do things like if I select it, click on it twice, and you get this, and I could bring this a bit forward. Take this one here, click on it again, then you get the gizmo to show up. And please remember, I am not an expert at this. Okay, great. Um, <clears throat> now I'm just going to go over here to the sewing. There's a little sewing machine icon here. And actually, just before I do that, I'm just going to take this one here and I'm going to move it over. Remember, in this view, you can kind of set up your patterns. You don't necessarily have to... Um, you can move them across. They don't have to be right on top of the silhouette of your character. So now I'm going to go and get my sew tool. And so I'm going to sew from here. And I do believe I'm going to sew to there. You can see it go across. Great. And then I can... Well, I'll have to do it in here. Of course not. Can't do it there. I have to do it over here. Click. Click. Done. Okay. So I put on a really simple, simple dress. And if I hit spacebar, spacebar quickly puts on my simulation. Okay, cool. And... You can, it's falling down. You can go up here to 3D Garment and you hit reset. Okay, maybe I've made my dress too wide at the top so it'll fall down. So if I go and I take this, I can move the, I'll move this in, move this one in. I can make adjustments. I can add points to this thing. You see it updating over here. Great, let's just go and hit spacebar now and see what happens. Boop. There. So now it's sticking. As well, I can do things like, in this case, if it's come down too far, I can kind of move this area up a little bit. Let's move it up a bit more. Okay. And it'll kind of come down and fall, and it kind of sticks to the body. Okay, that one there is a little bit too sticky. Let's pull it back this way a little bit. Right there. And that's too much. Okay, now I'm getting fussy. I'm just going to go and stop. Uh, we'll go back here to the reset the 3D arrangement. I might actually make the backside thinner too. So I'll bring, oh you bastard. I'll go up here, get that tool, just grab the one point, move that in a bit closer. And that way it'll come in and kind of, oh, I'm, get, I'm hitting another burp here. I think it's just kind of going in and saving things. Maybe I'm going too fast, maybe my computer sucks. I don't know for sure. There, now just move that one in as well. And let's just see what happens when I tap the space bar. Zoop. Yay! That worked really, really well. Okay, so we've got that, and I'm happy, and I know it. And I can keep working with this. I, again, there's tons and tons of tutorials all over the place. Um, I just want to see, actually, when you hit 5, 5 goes and switches the camera. What I was looking for is Alt-5. Alt-5 is the hotkey to go to your uh, mesh, and you can find that under Display, 3D Garments, there's Textured Surface, there's Mesh, Alt-5. Okay. And so I can see the mesh here, and if I go in and select it, I'm just going to go and grab this and select this piece and this piece. Over here on the side, we can see the particle distance. This is the distance between these two particles in here. This is a simulation. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to knock it down to some like five and see how many I get. Okay. Oh, look, it's very dense mesh. Um, and let's go back one more time and I'll do this quick uh, reset 3D arrangement and then I'm going to hit uh, spacebar. That is the same as hitting this little arrow up here. You see this goes a bit slower. Maybe not a bit. Let's see if I can deselect this so you can kind of see the mesh and maybe I should have turned off the wireframe. Doesn't really matter. But this is coming in and it's going to hug the surface. This can give you better wrinkles and things like that. La 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 la, draping 65%, and it's sewing up as it goes down. And you can have as many pieces as you want, I think. Actually, I shouldn't say that because I don't know for sure. Okay, but it looks like it's hanging right there, and things are good. And I could get a bit of draperage. I could pull this up, get wrinkles, whatever I want out of this. Okay, I should stop doing that. Leave it. Okay, and anything else I want to do in the miscellaneous section over here? When I'm exporting it, it exports um, 
I'm just gonna tap the spacebar and stop the simulation. And I'm just gonna go, come on, into miscellaneous. If I have these two pieces selected, instead of triangles, I'm gonna make them into quads. Those will smooth better when I get back to Maya. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I swear I just switched it to quads. I guess I'm in the middle of a burp. <clears throat> yep, I'm in the middle of a burp. Spinning wheel of death. They don't last that long, typically. Maybe this one, uh, maybe because I put it up to five. Okay, hopefully I don't have to make this video again. Or it's easy, so I can make it again and do it faster and just not bother doing this thing. Okay, looks like it's worked. And I'm just going to go back here to display. I think it's like, actually, I know the hotkey. The hotkey for this is um, if I select them both, and I just hit uh, all three there. So I can see the forms on here. Now what I want to do is I want to take the dress out of here. So I'm just going to go to File, Export, Export Selected. Make sure you do Export Selected. There's uh, Dress, and we'll say this is Dress Test Number 3. Okay, Save. Okay, and it's doing it. Synchronization start 20%. And I might take this out of the video, maybe. Come on, just a little bit faster. Spinning wheel of death again. I should have kept this lighter. Maybe when I did the particle distance, I should have done something like 10. Because I didn't really put any wrinkles in here that justify me going up to 5. But there's my OBJ export. Uh, unweld thin centimeters. And I think I'm good with that. So I'm just going to hit OK. There, done. Now there's one other thing I'm going to do really quickly here before I leave Marvelous Designer. Is this wonderful, cool thing. There's this little button of a shirt that looks like it's broken up. When I hit it... It takes the geometry and it puts it out side by side, kind of like how my layout is over here, and I can export that out as well. Come on, you bastard. Export selected. And I'll call this dress number four. I should have called them dress one and two, but whatever, I did this, because I've got some other ones when I was starting to play around with this and figure it out, they're sitting there. <sighs> and thin centimeters. Okay, done. And it's out. So we're out of Marvelous Designer. Now we're going to take this into Maya. Now I got the body here still. I don't necessarily need body. I'm just going to put that onto a layer. And I'm going to hide that. And I'll get rid of these measuring tools. I don't know if I need them anymore. Okay. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File. And I'm going to go to Import. And I'll import in the OBJs for the dress. There's number three. And again, I've got on multiple objects. Soft, great. Import. Dress. File, and I'm going to go to import again, and I'll import in the other one as well. Okay, so there's these pieces. And so there's the dress. You see it all, and I can hit one so it's not so hard edged. I guess it came in soft edged anyway. Okay, and they are separate pieces, they aren't joined together. Here I got soft selection on, or I'll turn that off. Show you, they show you they kind of come apart. There we go. Um, and a crazy thing about them is if I select this one and I select that one, I can go into Deform and I can create a blend shape out of them. They are the same geometry. Okay, and by doing that, if I take this one, I'll pull this over to the side so you can see what the hell I'm doing. If I go in and into the blend shape and I go to the side here, boop, it turns into that piece of geometry. Boop. Okay, but we need some retopology. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my create polygon tool and I'll hold down V oh you bastard here I'm just gonna hide that and maybe I'm gonna put on wireframes so I can see what the hell I'm doing there okay and did I get those all looks like I screwed up something up here yeah I missed that one so I'm just gonna nine that's weird Oh, it's probably doing something to uh, it's doing to the something to the capture device. So I'll just go in and do this to get that point. Turn that off. There. All my little hotkey tricks. Okay, great. So I got one of these, 
And um, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I don't know, my hotkey tricks will work here. So let's just go and turn on edges. And if I select an edge here, I'm going to do my quick control, right click, edge ring, edge ring, and split. Change that split from a relative to a multi. I'll take the divisions up and let's just count the divisions. I'm going to go to say, let's do 12. Take one of these. I'm just going to hit G. That repeats the last tool command. And relative to multi, take the divisions up. And I want to make sure they're squarish. I'm just going to go to 24, 12 and 24 on this case here. Nice and squarish. Okay, and I'm not sure if these shapes are exactly the same size, so I'm going to do this again on the other side. Maybe I'll just zoom in this time. So when I hold down V, I can tell I'm in the right space. And I'm going counterclockwise as I'm placing these points. Okay, great. And I hit Enter. And I'll grab my edges. Boop. Okay, so it looks like I accidentally hit a hotkey and uh, it went and stopped my recording. So um, I was back here. Don't try those shortcuts that I was doing. And okay, so the F10 turns it off. I go into component mode, grab the edge, and I'll do my little trick. Uh, control right click. Um, now I'm off. I don't remember exactly where I am. Boop. Relative, multi. And I think I chose 12 across here. doesn't really matter in this case because these ones aren't going to match up on the other side. Okay, then I'll take one of these edges. I'll hit G, split it again, relative to multi, divisions. I put this one at 24. So this one's important. Okay, great. And let's just go in and I'll just take this button up here. Remember the hotkey to get out of that be F8 or go to object mode. Uh, because I'm on top of... These objects are on top of each other. It just makes them harder to pick. So, um, now, <clears throat> what I can do is um, I can take these two objects here, and I might do something like mesh, combine, and I might delete the history. Uh, Alt, Shift, D. Bloop. Oh, watch out, that doesn't set off trigger anything. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, good. And I'm going to select these two objects. This is polysurface 11. Okay, or I can even just call this one dress. Okay, if I select these two objects here, the last object has to be the high poly mesh. Okay, and I'm going to go to deform and I'm going to create a wrap deformer. So it's now a wrap deformer. And if I take that original object boop, there and I go to blend shape and I turn on the blend shape, boop, it does that and it brings the other shape with it here. I'm just going to put this on isolate so you can see it. Okay, and there it is. I've re-topologized. Now I do have a couple of seams here that have to be fixed and it's because if I hit three do I see them? You can just barely tell there's something funny going on right there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, select um, this edge loop and this edge loop and I'm going to try and do this fast okay so I've grabbed those edges there and if I do something tricky like this always looking for a shortcut okay great those edges you can merge them and they'll probably work right but sometimes they're off a little bit here and there because of the simulation so what I'm going to do it's a little bit different I'm just going to go into uh, edit mesh and I'm going to bridge them and actually, bridge only works if that. I thought they were on the same object. You bastard. Okay, just hold on a second. My bridge isn't working what I thought I was going to be really clever when I did this. Maybe it's because I haven't deleted the history. Okay. Take that edge loop and that one. And actually, maybe if I just do one at a time. Okay, you just witnessed me trying to be tricky and then suddenly it didn't work. God damn it. I thought it was so clever. There. So I take those ones and let's do the uh, edit mesh bridge. So they bridge together all the way because they have the same amount of edges. Now you just take this edge here and you right click and you go to edge ring and collapse. Bloop. Now they're welded together. <laughs> take this whole edge loop here and I'm just going to deselect all this stuff. I guess I could do this a few different ways when I'm deselecting, but whatever. This is what I chose to do. Something tricky. 
So I'm going to go bridge, grab that edge in between. You could use that edge almost as a kind of a seam as well, edge ring and collapse, boom. So now we got everything welded together. we got a piece of geometry like this. I'm just going to delete my history. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to go File, Export, Selection, and we'll call this one, say, Dress Number 5. What time are we at? Or 24? Okay, just... Okay, I'm trying to do this whole thing in under 20 minutes. That was the goal. So I'm just going to go into uh, the, the back to ZBrush now because I want to get some of those wrinkles and other details that I got. So if I go in, um, sometimes I've found that if you uh, if you try and join it up directly to your your tool, it becomes a bit of a problem. So if I make a fresh one, I'll go PolyMesh 3D and I'll hit Import and I'll bring in dress number three, the one with all the details on it. Okay, and I'm just gonna see if that sits well with the character. So if I go in here and then I hit append and I bring, oh you bastard, I'm using a mouse so sometimes my brain's off a little bit. There's the dress, okay cool. Um, and again I should have had more wrinkles on it and stuff like that, but again I just want the point. Um, then, if I did something like uh, down here I take this dress and I duplicate it. We're just gonna see what happens. If I take the duplicate and I import in dress number five, the one that's been retopologized. Oh, and I didn't move it over. You silly, silly man. Okay, so let's go back over here. And this thing, they're sitting together. And I look at this surface and I took, oh, they don't have the wrap on it anymore, do they? No, but if I took this and I zeroed it, uh, that one moves over. The other one doesn't. Just hold on a second. I'm going to see if I still got history on this thing. So I still have history on it. There's all the collapse edges. No, there isn't a history. So um, let's try. If I just take this thing and I parent it to the other one, and I take the other object. And I just go and I zero that. Okay, great. And I freeze the transforms. There's nothing to freeze actually, but now I can grab this thing, delete the history, shift P, unparent it, and edit. And hopefully I didn't do any weird things to my recording. Let's hit export selection and dress number five. Yes! Okay, great. And then I'm just gonna zip back into ZBrush. And I'm still on this subtool, cool. And if I hit import and I bring this puppy in, dress number five should be right on top of the other one. Okay, great. And now, um, here, I'm just gonna go in. If you hold down shift and you click, it'll hide everything else except for the selected object. And I'll bring in the other one here. And <clears throat> something I've noticed, uh, actually you won't see it on this one here. So it shouldn't be a problem. I might take this original one and just do a control D and that'll smooth it. Actually, that gave me a seam. Let's undo that. Um, if I want to get this smoother for whatever reason, and I'm not going to skip that trick. I'll just go here and I'll grab this thing and I'll control D, smooth it. And then I'll go over to project all. Bloop. I can hit it a couple of times and sometimes you get a different result. Control D, smoothing. Control D, smoothing. Here, I'll put this on solo so you can see it's actually picking up all those details, getting nice and smooth. And uh, sometimes I've noticed though that uh, here, right in here, now that when I did this, you can see all these little details in here. Um, I should have gone in and smoothed the other one, but uh, you can still come in here quite easily. And if you hold down shift, you can smooth out these little burps and hiccups on the surface. Okay, or I could have exported a higher poly thing out of Marvelous. And I can take this one. I don't need that anymore. Don't need you anymore. Go away. And then I'll hold down shift and I'll bring all the friends back. And I don't, I've got on solo. I think I've got another dress in here too, if I really think about it, because it was the first time I tried this and figured it all out. Actually, is that the one that's up there? Yeah, it is. That's the big one that I could. It's having size problems. Um, yeah, get rid of that. So. There you have it. And now, if I needed to, if I do some sculpture on this and all those things, I probably should double check and make sure my UVs are laid out. Go down to the lowest subdivision level. Right, I'll do a quick one on this one. Uh, this one should have 
uh, the UVs should be already broken up. So I'm just going to go zipping down into UV map and hit morph UVs. And they are broken up, but they're on top of each other and maybe not the perfect contour. If I go into UV master and I use existing UV seams and I hit unwrapola. Okay, wrap done using existing UV topology, morph. Oh, and it looks like I didn't cut them up when I was in Maya, so I have to do that. And but anyway, I got the UVs, and then I can export. I can create a uh, displacement map on this. And do I want to show you fixing this? Okay, well let's fix it right away because I got this piece over here. Why not? So I'm just gonna take this and uh, hit F, and I'll go in and. I think the seam was right along here. There, that's the same on the other side. Yeah, okay, great. And I didn't even look what the UVs are looking like. So they're like this. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut those. And I'll just grab the UVs and I'll hit unfold. Okay, those are fixed. Sometimes this unfold is a little bit funky now. Um, Let's go back and do something like that, and I'll just come in here and scale them slightly so they're right not right X next to the Udem edge. Great. And I'll take this and go File, Export Selection, and Dress Number 5, and Export it. Yes! And I'll go zipping back into ZBrush. Come on. Come on. Don't crash on me now. Okay. And if I'm on the right subtool, I can then go up to import, import in dress number five again. Okay, nothing changes, except now when I look, my UVs, whoop, do that. They flip, but everything's cool. Okay, and now I can go into displacement map, and I can hit create disk map, and there is my displacement map, and I've exported that back to Maya. I would have all those little bits of modeling details in. And <clears throat> I'm going to stop right here because I think that gives you all the points you really need or gives you the basics anyway. And I'm going to stop. Bye-bye.